Hello dear ones, it's Alice at the scene of some ancient ruins. You can see in the background uh, Native American ruins. They have tours here every once in a while and this is a little known place. And so I just had a quick thought for all, for all of you about where we're heading in the fifth dimension. There are so many, uh, and insofar as gender is concerned, there are so many different roles being played out right now in the fourth dimension. Uh, I think that, that what that is is preparatory for what you might call um, multi-gender uh, aspect that will be showing up in the fifth dimension. Uh, multi-gender sexuality. In other words, we can be whatever we want, that's my feeling, in the fifth dimension. And all this, this interplay between the various um, roles and the various lifetimes that we've had that we're rem remembering uh, in the fourth dimension right now, it's preparatory to that, that experience of great freedom and expression of gender. So I suspect there might even be a, a, a genderless aspect that we could, um, that we could embody in the fifth dimension. In fact, that might even be the norm uh, with leanings towards the masculine or what we now call the masculine and the feminine traits. So, so just a little heads up, this is my thought on the topic and I'll see you guys later. So what I'm thinking is, in the meantime, while we're in this, this learning stage devised by uh, the divine and by the wonderful beings of light and ascended masters and angels and angel crew, Elohim, that are all figuring out how to get us from an understanding of the third dimension through all of the possible realities in the fourth dimension and past the veil of into the fifth dimension into under con, unconditional love. So they have the technology. We get to be the spectators and the participants in this process. And one of the takeaways that I have right now is why take just, just I'd like a little lightness in my own case about the idea of gender. Why take the, the role of gender so seriously, you know? Let us, just, let us just consider the possibility of a genderless state. Let us consider the advantages and disadvantages of such a state. If we're a man, let us cons just imagine the possibility of being a woman in another lifetime. What would that be like? If we're a woman, we could consider the opposite. What would it be like if, in case we don't remember past male incarnations, what would it be like to be a man in another incarnation? And in so doing, we role play these, these gender possibilities, you know. What would it be like to be an enlightened, per, an enlightened embodiment of Christ or Buddha? What would that person, how, what would be the advantages of, of that kind of role? So in that way, by role-playing it, we, we come to a more neutral understanding of our, of our true nature. And, and it's very good preparatory work, I feel, and a lot of fun, I think, prepar preparatory to moving it through the veil into the fifth dimension. Uh -huh. So you may agree or you may not agree. It's all right. It's just a, it's just a general thought. <laughs> Take care.